The curse has been broken. Thank you. Here's a reward for you. Woo! That's what I'm talking about, baby. <laughs> Gosh, I am actually the biggest troll in the world. You guys are probably so mad at me. You guys had to wait for the next episode to find out I got a blue rupee. Ah, I got him. <laughs> got him. <laughs> Welcome back to the randomizer, guys. It's attacking two cans. The world, internet's biggest troll. Um, I'm not really sure what I want to do next. There's not a whole lot more we can do as young Link, as far as I'm concerned. So I think we're gonna have to go back and turn into an adult. So let's use our handy dandy teleport song. The only teleport song that we have. Oh, look at Link's Goron bracelet. So fashionable. I wonder if Versace made it. I wonder who Hyrule's number one fashion designer is. I'm sure there's been some fashion designer in some Zelda game that I'm not thinking of. There's so much Zelda knowledge. And I know a lot of it, but uh, I don't know. During one of my streams, I was going through the alphabet trying to think of a name of somebody that starts with every alphabet letter. And it was really hard. I didn't do very well. The chat... Had to help me with almost every single letter. I felt really embarrassed. Although at the same time I was fighting Phantom Ganon, so it was hard to focus and think. But, what ifs. Alright, time to turn into Adults Link again. Now somebody asked, they're like, why is the Master Sword not randomized? Oh wait, what? Oh, I totally forgot that if you beat the Forest Temple and you come back to the Temple of Time, you get the Prayed of Light. But, we're getting the Song of Storms this time. Which is pretty awesome. This allows us to go into the bottom of the well as Young Link. And it also opens up some grottos. Because for some reason some of the holes only appear if you play the Song of Storms. Um, I guess because of like sinkholes or something. In my hometown of Nixon, Missouri, one of the janitors that went to my high school, he lived in this house that got almost entirely eaten up by a sinkhole. He was in his bedroom and he heard his whole entire house starting to creak so we like left it to like see what was happening and like as he was leaving his house the whole entire thing well probably about three-fourths of it got eaten up by a giant sinkhole i'll put some pictures on screen it was pretty crazy it was like one of the biggest things in the news for a while in my area and when i took geology class later um we learned all about it and like all the details it was really crazy I feel sorry for the poor guy i don't think he had insurance on his car either so he didn't get his car replaced it kind of screwed up his whole entire life and he was just a janitor, so he really couldn't afford to do anything. Um, let's see, what else can we really do right now? I know. We're going to go up to Death Mountain, because there's a couple things up there we can do. Alright, so since we just got the Song of Storms, first thing we're going to do is play it right here. Also, I forgot to mark it. I'm really sorry, I keep on forgetting to mark some of these things. I don't know why. I just get so into the commentary and gameplay that I forget about the tracker sometimes. And the tracker's not the most important thing, but it's still, it's still pretty important. All right, what should we have here, Shunny? Oh, damn! We're rich! Check my bank account, I'm like, I'm rich, I'm rich, I'm rich! A full wallet is a happy wallet. That is what I've always thought. And inside here we have Link, or no, his name's Ira. I keep on forgetting that we named our character Ira because I used the name generator. I don't know, I thought that was a pretty good idea. I'm pretty happy with it. I'm just gonna throw a couple bombs and hopefully he'll get hit by him. Whoa! First try, that like never happens. Dang, I'm so okay with that. I'm 100% okay with that. Sometimes this can take so long. Okay, we don't really need to listen to his story. If you guys are watching this to learn about the story from Ocarina of Time, <laughs> sorry to let you know this late into the series, but that's not really gonna happen. And we got a uh, heart piece. All right. If we had the hook shot, the main thing we need to find right now is the hook shot. Because the hookshot is how you get into almost every single temple as an adult. It's how you get to the forest temple, fire temple, water temple. Not the shadow temple. I always forget about this room right here. I'm pretty sure it's... I don't think you actually get anything from it. But I always forget about its existence. How do you even get through here? Do you play the Song of Time? Is that what it is? It's just a really, it's a really strange room. Um, and I don't think you need it to get inside the spirit temple, but you need the silver gauntlets to get inside the spirit temple. As adult Link, anyways. Oh, I was gonna use the hook shot, but I can't. Alright, well, we don't need to do that anyways. 
I'm gonna go ahead and take the shortcut. Wait, where's it at? It's down here. I'm gonna take the shortcut back to the Lost Woods. Because first off, I totally forgot. There's some grottos there as well that we can get some stuff from. But then also, wait, now that I think about it, can I even get through there? I'm trying to think, can we get to the forest temple? Because Sheik normally teaches us a song. But we don't have the hook shot, so I'm not sure if that's a possibility. What if we got the hook shot right here? Or the bow and arrow? What if? What if? No. Nope. I was really setting it up so I could really freak out if we got it. But we didn't. And sometimes you gotta set things up so you can have some awesome freak outs. But today was not my day. Oh. Do 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 do. You know who I am because I am the kid from the woods. But I'm just a whole lot older now. Why you didn't age because you're a dirty cow? Like the, the way Mitel, I think you need some leg braces, buddy. I don't think you're supposed to walk like that. I'm not sure if they had those kind of medical advances back in this time. Guys, that's one thing we have to be so freaking thankful for is all of the just medical advances we have, all the surgeries and stuff. We're able to fix so many things. Until like not even long ago, people couldn't get braces. So people, if people had messed up teeth, they would have messed up teeth for their whole entire life. Now that's just, that would suck. Okay, I know there's a hole somewhere in here, but I'm just getting really unlucky trying to find it. Or maybe it's not here as an adult. Oh, there it is. That kind of scared me. Wait, is this? No, I guess I don't think there's anything in here. Never mind. I thought this was something else. I always forget what you do here. Forest stage. We are waiting to see your beautiful face. Win fabulous prizes. Do I have to play Saria song? How do we activate this? I really don't think I've ever done this before. Wait, can I talk to Saria? This is Saria. Can you hear me? At first, I didn't want to become... Oh, I'd like to skip past that way too fast. I think she's just saying, help me. I'm inside the forest temple or something. Sometimes I forget that you can use Saria's song to talk to Saria. I've never really done that. <laughs> At least not since I was a kid. I've always used it for it's like one actual purpose and that's just to like make Daruni a dance. Oh, we don't need that. I think there's one more hole that has a chest in it in the Lost Woods. Might be wrong. Does this have something in it? Like a Deku scrub or something along those lines? Oh yeah, it does. I think one of these sells us an item. Hey, two for the price of one, baby. Oh, he missed. To make your quest easier, I can enable you to pick up more Deku nuts. Okay, yes. Thank you very much. What? I am so happy that I went inside this hole. Oh. That is what I'm talking about. Okay, I should have <laughs> set up the climax a little bit later. Damn, we are so lucky. I'm so happy that I remembered this hole was a thing. I honestly forgot about it like the first four times I played through a randomizer, but I so happened to remember it this time. And I'm so happy that I did because we, we wouldn't have been able to progress through the game if I hadn't remembered that hole. And there's also one right here, I think, too. It's a really weird trippy hole. Speaking of trippy, an album I've been listening to a lot for the past few days is Astro World by Travis Scott. Travis Scott is one of my favorite rappers in the world. He has been ever since like four years ago when his album Rodeo came out. I've just been a huge fan of him. I love his style of production. It's so next level. It's so like he's going to be the next big thing, I'm sure. I mean, he's already getting pretty big, but I think he's going to be like the next Kanye West, in my opinion. When it comes to like biggest influential artists. Oh, Deku Nut upgrade. Even a bigger nut. It's just really fun to say nut like that. I apologize. Okay, well, we got our hook shot. So we are in this to win this. And I think since we have the hook shot, we can go ahead and do the forest temple. Oh, we don't have the bow and arrow, so we wouldn't be able to do the whole thing, but we could start it. Ah! I'm sorry. Leave me alone. Take that. <laughs> it's honestly really insane how easy these guys die. All it takes is one hit. Come on. Put it up his booty hole. Right up the booty hole. 
Nope. Right at the booty hole. Hey. Can I get a hole? Yeah. Oh, yeah, there's not one right here. Is the wind down here? Yep. These things are like purring. Hey. Die. There we go. They sound really frustrated when we kill them. I mean, I guess being killed is something, is a valid reason to be frustrated. <laughs> now that I think about it. We have one big poundy boy. Whoop. Whoop. Right at the booty hole. <laughs> he liked it. He liked it so much that he can't even move. He's just like frozen with pleasure. Ooh. Oh. I will take this. Dang it. Why keep on messing up? There we go. You have learned the Bolero of Fire. Sick. Oh, wait. Don't forget to mark it. Or else everyone's going to be jumping on my ass. Do we want to start the Forest Temple right now? Or do we want to wait until we have the Bow and Arrow? The thing is, the Bow and Arrow could be in the first half of the Forest Temple. We might as well just, like, do as much as we can. And if we can't do anything else, then we'll leave and come back. We can get it started anyways. Sometimes it's more fun to do that anyways. Because, like, doing it full temple in, like, one run can get a little bit tiresome. But, like, splitting it into parts. Now, we're going to go for the first key up here. Now, I'm pretty sure this key stumped so many people when they first played this game. Because you wouldn't think that there would be a hidden chest in this first room. I know it stumped me a long time as a kid. Oh no, I did not mean to pull myself to the gold Skullshula. Oh man, they were waiting for me the whole time. So diligent. Dang. Okay, let's try this again. Buckaroo. Not gonna hurt me this time. Okay, do I wanna try to jump? Or I'll just I'll play it safe and hit the treasure chest. Whee! That would have made more sense if they put a lock on this first door. So you know you had to get a key in this room to progress. But no, they just allowed you to go straight forward. So, <laughs> Nintendo, they knew they were trolling. They were probably not trolling as hard as I did at the beginning of this episode, but they still knew they were trolling. Now, Forest Temple is my favorite temple in this game. Mainly because I really love the music. I think it is top notch. It's just so eerie and beautiful at the same time. It really sets the mood. The first time you hear this music, you just really feel like you're in a really weird, serene place. It makes it feel serene, but really creepy. And there's that doo-doo, doo-doo, doo-doo. There's a lot of overlapping sounds that really just all blend together really well. Sorry, buddy, not today. You thought. Okay, I'm gonna pull out my nuts. We have a lot of them. We have 40 nuts. Because we got two upgrades to those bad boys. And we're going to use our nuts to free some Skeletors. Or what are they actually called? Um, I guess you can tell her. Stathos. Don't know why I forgot that. Sometimes, like, I remember these things, but sometimes when you're commentating, things just slip your brain for no reason. Like when I forgot the name of Bomb Flowers and called them Bomb Bombs. <laughs> like freaking Mario Bros. Like, that's wrong with Guys, what's wrong with me? <gasps> I get my brain checked. Ah! I love the Deku Nuts. Like, they're so useful if you use them right. You can save so much time. Oh, look, we're getting a nut refill as well. Maybe he liked getting killed. He liked getting killed. He's like one of those people who likes asphyxiation. He just nutted from, from death. Another key. Now, these temples have a lot of keys. I really have the urge to play one of the key sanity randomizers. I just think that'd be so much fun. It would take so long to do. You'd be going through temples so many times trying to find stuff. But I feel like it's like a one-time playthrough. It's one of those things you only do one time. And thankfully, we have the Song of Time. So we can get rid of the Block of Time of Time. It's one of those songs you don't play very often. Somebody left a comment that actually brought up a really interesting idea. And that was being able to change into Adult Link or Young Link with the Song of Time. 
The only problem I could think of that is like there's certain areas you can only get to as adult Link and certain areas you can only get to as young Link. And I think the only way to combat that would have like Navi be like, you don't want to play that here. You don't want to be an adult in this area. That'd be weird, you weirdo. And that'd be, just be kind of awkward because like how does Navi know that? I feel like I guess it just made most sense. I'm going to give you a teleportation song to the freaking Temple of Time so you don't really need it. All right, I'm gonna go through this courtyard section. Also, another ROM hack I played not too long ago, maybe about two months ago. It was a crossover ROM hack of Mario 64 and Ocarina of Time. And it was made by Kaze, who makes a lot of good Mario 64 ROM hacks. I recently did a full Let's Play of one of his games, Mario 64 Last Impact. I've been putting it, I've been recommending it at the end of my videos during the end slate because it's a really, really good game. If you were looking for another just really quality Let's Play to watch through, that's one of my best in my opinion. I would really advise if you're looking for something to watch. It's a good one. And I know there's a lot of new viewers here, so if you're looking for a good series to binge through, that's the one because there's just so many cool Mario 64 power-ups and like, such an inventive game. I think my co commentary is pretty quality in that one. Okay, are we gonna find anything? useful to us in this dungeon? Or are we just going to keep on getting keys? Looks like we're just going to keep getting keys for now. Ooh, what? How am I not close enough? That's good. Don't jump off. Thank you. But yeah, in the Mario 64 Ocarina of Time crossover, you play through all of Ocarina of Time, but you are Mario instead. There's a bunch of power stars hidden throughout the land. It's really cool. Something else I've considered doing a series of on YouTube. Considered. I'm not sure. It would take a long time. If anything, I'll probably like restream through the whole entire thing and upload it as like one long video and not do it as a series. But you never know. I mean, honestly, I would like to make YouTube videos my whole entire life and there will always be, I'll always be looking for stuff to play. So maybe, maybe I don't do a series of it now, but in a couple years I'll be like, hey, you know what? That's something I could go back to. I don't know. I don't know if there's an age I ever want to stop making Let's Plays and stuff. I feel like it's just such a fun portion of my life. It's like my Let's Plays are like my vlogs in like a gamer sense. And I talk a lot of I talk about a lot of aspects about my life through my Let's Plays and such. So I don't know if I ever want to stop. I guess the only way I would stop is if I become so busy with other things that there's just no possible way for me to do Let's Plays anymore. But they're not very time consuming, but they're not the most time consuming thing. I mean, they're just as time consuming recording wise, or just as time consuming as playing any other video game. And then, I mean, there's editing, but editing, I like editing. Like, that's one of the reasons I started Let's Playing is because I learned how to video edit, because I wanted to be a music video director. And I just needed some stuff to edit, and I was watching Let's Plays at the time. I'm like, you know what? That'd be a great way to start editing more. And some of my early Let's Plays, I would put like super extra amounts of editing. Wow! It's the first instance of an ice chest freezing us on the spot. Dang. Relentless. So it looks like we're not having any luck. There's not m many more treasure chests we can get. There's a- huh? Honestly, there's one more treasure chest we can get and it's a little bit far away. I'm not sure if I want to go for it. Because we'd have to go through like another half of the temple and skip a lot of stuff. Because I'm almost everything we do from here on out requires the bow and arrow. You know what? I might as well go for it. Just because what if it is the bow and arrow? Like what if that's where the object ends up being? I don't want to risk it and play through the whole entire game and then come back here to find out that the bow and arrow is in the one chest that I didn't get in the forest temple that I could. Because a randomizer will do that to you. <laughs> I mean it's one of those things where you have to like kind of measure like the risk for reward type thing. But in this instance, I mean, it's not going to really take us long to get there. We're going to have to do a puzzle that we'll have to do eventually, so I might as well get it out of the way now. The puzzle requires us to push blocks for a long period of time, and since I'm nice, fast forward, baby! Yeah, this puzzle doesn't take too long, but it is really slow paced, so I'm just... I don't want you guys to watch any slow paced type action. But those are the blocks that require you to have the Goron Bracelet to push, so if you don't have the Goron Bracelet, you cannot get past this room of the dungeon. 
I'm just gonna go past those guys, get a little bit of slowdown from it. It's a bit odd. Interesting. Hmm. I know, Navi, there's some mall masters that want to fondle my booty hole, but I'm not gonna let them. I'm not gonna let them. Oh, wait. Let's get a, do a backflip over that rail, try to save a little bit of time. Okay, thank goodness we do not need a key to progress through here. Alright, and another Stathos fight. Stathos are kind of fun to fight, but they're also a little bit frustrating at times. Oh, wait! I just freaking remember. We have the big Goron sword. What am I doing? I'm sure you guys were all, like, screaming at me to put it on. Not like I've, like, really fought anything since I've been an, an adult, but this will definitely speed up the process by a lot. We're getting a lot of items that really allow us to play through the game quickly, which I'm okay with because... I know she gets up to wait through things. But like the Sun Song, for example, that really speeds up a lot of things. The Boomerang, that speeds up a lot of stuff. And the Big Goron Sword also saves us a lot of time. Come on, attack. First he protect, then he attack, and then he... Then he knack to baby! Ooh. Sorry, I'm making references to Dunky. Dunky is one of my favorite YouTubers. I had an opportunity to have like a three hour conversation with video game Dunkey when I went to a Twitch party last year. It was a really cool party. It was at the Seattle Aquarium. Twitch rented out the whole entire Seattle Aquarium for Twitch partners and opened up a ton of um, free bars at it. And it was such a fun experience. I got to talk to a lot of cool YouTubers and partners. One of those experiences that wouldn't change for the world. I got pretty lit. Like I remember dancing my freaking ass off at that aquarium. People were like getting like so pumped for me. I'm like a dancer. I really like dancing. Like I am the type of person who goes clubbing, probably way more than I should. Um, is this door locked? I think it is. Okay, we cannot progress any further in this dungeon until we get the bow and arrow. But we have a large portion of it started, which I am totally okay with. Wait, can I go down here? No, I can't. Now the fastest way out is to just reset the game because it'll teleport us back to the beginning of the dungeon. Which is dope. Beautiful title screen. Such an iconic title screen. We have a lot of hearts. Like a shit ton. Alright, bye Forest Temple. You sucked. We didn't get anything from you. At all. Okay, so the next place we'll go to is let's go ahead and play the Boralo of Fire. Or I think I pronounced that wrong. I'm gonna go here because we can learn another Shang from Sheik. Another Shang. I, I mispronounce words way too often. That's really embarrassing. How come I forgot to mark the hover boots again? I keep on. You guys are probably so mad at me. <laughs> you're, you're probably. I'll just. I'll fix it in Photoshop so you guys will never know that I messed up. How about that? I'll just fix my mistakes. Okay, Serenade of Water. That doesn't open up anything for us, but. That's a great teleport. It's like the only way we can teleport to that whole entire side of the map. Let's go ahead and use it to get out of here. Because we can't do anything else. I guess we could sort of start the fire temple, but eh. I don't feel like it right now. What we will do is... There's a heart piece on top of the laboratory that we can get. So I'm going to do that. It's all rainy. The lake has been drained. I'm not sure where all the water went. So sad. Is Lake Hylia actually a lake? Now the song goes more like, Lake Hylia. It sucks now, Lake Hylia. Uh, not as much gusto. Take tight, you're about to get wrecked by my big Goron sword buddy. Damn, I feel so powerful. Hey! Navi. What is it? Good Deku Tree? Oh, I knew it. <laughs> Shut up. We can't. We don't have the slingshot. I told you this like 50 times, Navi. 50 times. Hey, aren't you that fairy kid or whatever? Yes, I am. And there's your song. I'm able to play it so fast. I feel like freaking through the fire and flames, but with my ocarina. Okay, so we're going to use that to get on top of this laboratory building. The other way you can get up here is by 
planting a bean. Um, but I never planted that bean because I didn't need to. Because we have a scarecrow. Oh, so it's a scarecrow instead. I have to get like right underneath it or else we're not going to be able to see it. There we go. Okay. Oh, hello. Attacking crow cans is what they're going to call me now. Well, I guess crow cans isn't a actual bird. We just call it. Let's go with attacking crows. That makes a lot more sense. <laughs> yeah. Climbing, climbing. Doesn't it kind of look like Hapora hey, Gabora could be hidden inside this roof? We climb up this ladder and then he like peeks over. He's like, hey, what's up, Link? That sort of looks like his ear whisker type things that are on top of his head from that angle. And we have a recovery heart. Worth it. <laughs> Give it to me. It's worth it. Oh, gosh. Link, I'm so sorry. Ooh. Well, I don't think we can go out anymore. I think Link broke his legs and now he has to wait for them to heal. Wow. Attacking us while we're disabled. You would. You would. I guess we just killed his brother, so it makes sense. But anyways, thank you all so much for watching this video. In the next episode, we'll have Link all healed up and ready to go again. If you enjoyed it, hit that thumbs up button, and I'll see you in the next one. Have a fantastic day. Bop that. If you get it, if you got a head, then put it up, break it down, put it backwards. Yeah. Pull the King Kong hanging from the rafters. Yeah. Give me party for the hell of it. I can super celebrate. Hit it, fit the town like Rembrandt. Groove in it from the floor like a Roomba. Who can I'm a Tata Timon and Pumba? Doing the salsa in Havana, Cuba.